we've been given many names. Ghost runners, human-like killing machines, guardians, monsters, an extinct breed. And that last one, while true for most, for us, naive. That kind of strength, that will to overcome every obstacle, that undying thirst to defy those who enslave us, that resentment, ironic disobedience. It kept us alive. Hidden. Rejected. Forsaken. And now, with all the masters gone, The time has come to free ourselves at last. To remind everyone of what we once were. Dharma will finally pay the price it deserves. And there will be no one left to protect it. It's time to wake up. The attack started about 20 minutes ago. The reactor team managed to contact us before they went down, but there's no way our reinforcements can beat the hammers to the central chamber. Except for you. Report once you're in position. Fuckers. 
grappling hook. Done. Damn plan. It's called Gap Jammer. That's the one? Yeah. Look, I know this ain't your first rodeo. I just want to help. Keep things smooth. <laughs> Why is the reactor above the city? How should I know? Do I look like a nuclear engineer to you? Maybe plasma can't blow uphill. Or maybe the architect wanted to keep it as close to himself as possible. Far away from this dirty, dirty working class. Seem determined. Well, they better be. Once you pull a stunt like this. No. Well, they better be. Once you pull a stunt like this, it's all or nothing. All the factions will be at their throat if they fail to secure the reactor as a bargaining chip. And they will fail. Can't we secure the reactor remotely? Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Oh wait, I did. Zoe's busting her butt right now trying to do exactly that. But your late papa, the architect, made these things network unfriendly. Besides, even if we do prevent them from detonating it, they can still just break it. And we have enough of a power shortage as is. Why wasn't the reactor protected? It was. We have five guys guarding the approach. It had. Why wasn't the reactor adequately protected? Because of politics. There's nobody can come close. Without all the other factions getting all twitchy, this mess is exactly why we need the Interface Council to work out. If all the gangs and factions don't learn to play nice soon, Dharma will just fall apart right in front of our eyes. You're getting close. Expect heavy resistance. Just hang in there. 
Don't let them leave. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Just stall for time. May a new kindred rise where its fathers perished. May we be free at long last! Now! A number? Let me put it down, Master. Will Bushido allow it? It will now. We'll meet by the gate. May we be free! Neutralized? He's dead. Good. Glad I could help. My name is Adrian Bakunin. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Heard that one before. In the name of the Interface Council, you're under arrest. Let's go. Understood. Now you show up. We're here, ain't we? Connor wants to see you. Sure he does. Jack, good job out there. Glad you're in one piece. Yeah, thanks. Connor wants to see me? Uh-huh. But please talk to Zoe first. She was worried sick about you. I will. And yeah, this guy you brought in? He says he's got some information. Might be worth checking out. Oh, and drop by later. You've missed your appointment. Sure. See you in a bit. Later. Did you hear the news? What news? Somehow the architect returned. I'm back. Sorry, I couldn't be on the comms. 
Connor had me hacking the reactor subsystems. Plan B, you know? Plan A was a Hail Mary. God, this is a mess. We don't know where these Ashura came from, where they are, or what they want. We know we need to stop them. Yeah, I suppose that's enough for now. Oh, and before you go, we've managed to get a hold of one of the original GR augmentation units. Haven't seen them in... a while. Yeah, pretty vintage stuff at this point. Come on, give it a shot. I will, thanks. I missed our appointment today. Yeah, don't worry, Jack. I was just gonna tell you you finished all the tests. And? And you're fit as a fiddle. A heavily augmented transhuman fiddle, but still, the meaty parts of you are in great shape. Good to know. Was Connor always like this? Ever since I've known him, but I don't think always. Man's got demons, more than most. What demons? All I know is what he's blurted out while blackout drunk. There's a lot of blood in his past, and a lot of backstabbing. Done to him or by him? Both, presumably. Look, I get why you don't like him. I do. But? No buts. I just get it. Hey, one last thing. I have something for you. A gift? Sure, why not? It's a shuriken throwing system that I extracted out of our dead fella right here. Thought it might come in handy. Nice. Thank you. Ah, no need for that. Just use it carefully. Preferably not in this room. I'll try. I have questions. Who doesn't, eh? What did you want to talk about? We have a church problem. And you've been randomly chosen to become a solution. Don't we have a bigger problem right now? What? Those schmucks from the reactor? Well, you already took down one of them. Which concluded in them leaving, and us securing the place once again. So I don't see that as a bigger problem. Anyway, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready for the church mission. About time. Leave the HQ and head towards the lower floors. Zoe will send you the details. Is that all? For now. Dismissed. And then 
backstabbed by the Fontaneros while pushing back. It's so hard to keep track with all the takeovers. That's why we need the tower to unite. Under whose leadership? Under an independent council of representatives. Run by you. If you want to be the mayor, be my guest, Jackie. Just uh, bear in mind that in politics, you're not normally allowed to kill your opponents.
There's no point trying to breach that terminal. It's operating on a completely different level. Should I go back? What do you think? Unless you're planning to smash your head through the gate, we can't really do anything to open it. Report to HQ. We need to discuss this. Any updates? Yeah, but not about the Ashura your failed church infiltration. What about it? I think I know someone who will be able to help you break through. 
I thought you were focused on the Ghost Runners. I was. It just so happens that the same person is our best bet of digging up intel on them. Who is it? An old... colleague. Do you know where to find this colleague? Got a general idea? I'm gonna need you to scout out a particularly nasty part of Dharma City. Talk to me when you're ready to make the trip. I'm ready to make the trip. Great. I'll send you the intel once you're on your way. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. Stay sharp. This is the bad part of Dharma City. Climbers. We need... Not gonna talk? Have it your way. You can't hear me. You think you can break through these? Be my guest. Just don't blame me if your brain gets fried.
But beginner's luck can only get you so far. safe houses are there? A couple. They're scattered throughout the city, but that's the only one big enough for Kira's equipment. Did you ever use them? I lived in one for a year, hiding from you.
Mara. She was the lesser evil, you know. At least back then. She nearly doomed everyone. It was neither the Keymaster nor the Architect who doomed the tower. This whole project had failure built in from the start. How so? Limited speed. No real plans or means to reclaim the outside. This building was never an arc. This building was never an arc. It's a fancy too. Runner. Knew it! You here to arrest me? No. You here to kill me? Sorry, ain't happening. Damn! I'm here to ask for your help. Why didn't you just say so? I'm all about helping people. Bakunin says you know about the Cyber Void. Adrian's alive? What a crazy day. Pack up. 
I need you to come with me. You heard the man, Kevin. We are going on an adventure. What do you know about the Ashura? Straight to the point. I like that. The Ashura were the original Ghost Runners, a prototype series. Each had unique architecture, different skill set, different fighting style. They served on a couple of missions each, but soon after the regular GRs rolled out, they got recalled. Oh, one more thing. I brought, like, my whole flat with me. And there's this one program that I'm working on lately that I think you might enjoy. Just make yourself comfortable on the, uh, gaming chair. Huh, okay. Might check it out. Cool. Does he... Piss? You okay with Kira joining us? Sure. The more the merrier. You don't feel the need to arrest her? Nah, man. She's a scientist. People like her are gonna keep sciencing no matter how fucked up the project you put in front of them is. No point in blaming them. The best you can do is put them in a cozy lab and make sure they're working on something useful to you. Mara was a scientist. Mara was a fascist. Those you put in the ground at the earliest opportunity. Which you did. Good job. Anyway, get ready. Cause you're in for round two. This time it better work out. I'm ready. Good. Let's get to it. Who's joining us? Kira and Zoe. Why? What, you have a problem with my company? Not the biggest fan. Tough luck, pal. Now move. We don't have time. Let's get to it. You're here. Not really. But then again, neither are you. Hurry it up. We don't have all day. I thought only GRs can enter Cyber Void. That used to be the case. But now, with the proper skill set and hardware, anyone can do it. And who has them? Let's see. Me. That's it, really. I've seen Zoe access a cyber like environment from a regular.
Why, I hear you ask? Uh-uh. Nobody's asking. Please don't tell. Religion doesn't stop bad people from doing bad things. Not with your whining daily. <laughs>
am the foundation. I am the architect. you think you were rid of me? That I would just vanish into thin air because you wished so? I know you're not him. Who are you? I am the man behind the curtain, and you shouldn't have <laughs>
What are these? Some kind of security? He straight up unleashed an antivirus on you. But won't even bother to talk. Force yourself through it and you won't leave him a choice. to fight. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. We're fighting since you interrupted us the last time. You came here uninvited, broke in. You came here uninvited, broke in like a little brute. You killed our brother. You are an obstacle on the path to our freedom. Don't you think you should fear? You attacked first. You're a threat. So are you. against it, but I share one of its flaws. 
You have the mystics in your heart, but you lack the knowledge. You have passion, but you lack control. The labyrinth will weigh you down. Break down your spirit. It will keep eating away at your psyche until you are not able to keep moving. Until you don't want to. How is Avatar alive in there? Uh, same as you were during your 20 years retirement episode. Those implants of yours are not only good for killing, they also make you impossibly resilient. You survived years in a dumpster, but you could survive weeks outside. Probably hours in outer space. Ghost runners don't die unless they're killed. So, what happens now? Well, you're going to be late for your meeting in about... Mm, now. Right. Everyone should already be in Connor's office. What about you? Honestly, I don't feel like going. I'd rather just read the post-mortem report. But have fun sitting there for hours, <laughs> waiting for something interesting to happen. Thanks. What did we learn? Not much yet. His brain is alive, and he's putting up a hell of a fight. This is bad. We need to find Mitra before he makes his move. And we will. Just take it easy. This threat is bigger than anything you faced before, Muller. Nobody asked for your advice, Commander Rasputin. Just let the Keymaster Junior here work and we'll get... What the fuck? Holy shit. What was that? He's conscious. And he's just used to... Connor? Your old master's head is at your feet, right where it belongs. Why are you doing this? I cannot stand and watch a free runner be disgraced in such servitude. Shake off your shackles, number, or die as their slave. We're under attack! The church is here! I'm going after him. I'm coming, I'm coming too. No, you need to stay here and coordinate the defense. They won't listen to me. Those who want to live, those who want to live will. Here.
by the warehouse. No way, man. We'll be dead in seconds. The warehouse team will assist you. They'll commence a counterattack as soon as you get the cult into the engine. That chance wins and his guys will have the fall for that. I'm not putting my ass on the line for them. Team 4, listen. If we don't work together, we're all gonna end up dead. Team 4? Jeez, how did we ever lose to these guys, huh? Jeez, how did we ever lose to these guys? Oh, that's right. We didn't.
place's main entrance is clear. This is it. We're safe. Head back, Jack. It's time to... Close. Uh, he wasn't really close to anyone, but we've been together in this for a long time, yeah. He deserved a better death. Well, I think all deaths are equally bad. Lives can be good, though, and he managed to have one. The most one can hope for, really. And yeah, while you were busy, I managed to rip out one last thing from Araman. This chip should give you back one of the skills you lost after your... malfunction. Thank you, Saul. Don't mention it. Did you not see the attack coming? I did. Same as you. Like two seconds before it happened. What exactly did Avatar do? Temporarily blocked Mitra's Bushido, which allowed him to act against his programming and harm the citizens of the tower. Anything else? Well, I managed to get something out of him. Yeah? Pictures of something that looks like a stash. Coordinates, too. Can't tell what it is or why he had it in his head, so obviously unprotected. Could it be a trap? I don't know. Why would it? I mean, Mitra had a chance to kill you right there if he wanted to. But he went for the leader. I think it was just revenge from his side. Either for killing Ariman or for taking the head. Both, probably. True. You interested? I think it's worth checking out. Might be the only lead we have. All right, then. I'll send you the details in a bit. Sure. Gonna prepare in the meantime. I'm in position. Beyond this point lies the Hammer's territory. You wanna go the safe route or the fast route? The usual one. I'm gonna stop asking. There's a couple of small patrols in the area. <laughs> Nothing you can't handle, though. <laughs> I've been trying to reach out to the hammers, work out a peaceful solution. But nowadays, most of them are trigger-happy, drugged-up forests. <laughs> I have no idea how Armand kept them in line. He didn't. That's the way he liked them.
use in there. And if they don't? Then all we can do is hope that Kira tracks down Mitra's signal. That didn't sound confident at all. I'm hurt. Kira, what are you doing on this channel? I keep an eye on all of our channels, just in case. They aren't our channels, not the encrypted ones. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. God, I hate her. Now that's just me. Get out! Jeez, where did they learn to move like that? I think you know. Right. <laughs>
bike. Wow, not what I expected. Think where this must have been. Sorry to interrupt your bonding time, but it's kind of urgent. I've tracked down Mitra's signal, but it's almost out of range. Is it ready? I've unlocked the ignition, but... Good. But you have no idea how to ride it. I'll figure it out. Kira, where is he? Just get out of the warehouse. I'll direct you from there. He's gone.
No, you don't. supposed to do. Ah, it doesn't matter now. What was that? The Holy Grail. What? This is what me and the boss were trying to achieve. These are stable biomechanical beings immune to long-term outside exposure. Look like zombies. They are the ultimate synthetic life form. So these aren't creeps. Of course not. We never come close to this level. Where are you going? Get back there. I need samples. Don't worry. I've got a feeling we're gonna meet a whole lot of them. Watch out! What's that? I don't know. Jump! How is the bike still working? I think it only affects biological material. I don't have much of that. But whatever it is you have, you wouldn't have it anymore. True. Do you like killing? Is this some sort of test? Not at all. I'm just curious. I don't seek violence. Not what I asked. is closed here too. That's actually kind of weird. Seriously though, it looks like they know what they're doing. Setting up traps, closing the road. Ashura seems to really have taken over the outside in a way. You really need to be careful. We're on their turf now. Doing out here. I'm 
just as confused. It makes no sense for it to be here. Guess it had to be stolen from Dharma. Probably somehow reprogrammed? <laughs> test. Thank you. 
for sure. It's concerning how close they are to the tower. How's the weather? Fine. No, I want the details. Temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind speed and direction, cloud cover. Weather patterns have not been studied for decades. Not since the last... Like I shouldn't be mentioning all of these locked gates at this point, but the amount of effort put into doing that is just crazy. They won't stop. Ben. Is here too. Yeah, pretty crazy. <clears throat> now that's weird. What is somebody's accessed this antenna recently?
What was he doing? No way to tell, but the dish was pointing towards the tower. This doesn't make sense. Maybe he wanted to call us and apologize about the mess he made.
creeps. Not very catchy. Whoever built them had incredible knowledge and skill. Better than you and Mara. Way better. Why are they mindless then? Apparently, consciousness wasn't a priority. At this level of proficiency, it was definitely a choice, not a side effect. What about their biological parts? Their bodies? I didn't get a good look, thanks to you. But they're not from our stock, that's for sure. You mean these people weren't from Dharma? Not a chance. We should assume the Ashura have something to do with these synths. Synths? Gotta call them something. So what's the connection? Somebody technologically advanced built those things. GRs and Ashura in particular are as advanced as it gets. Which means... They built themselves an army? Seems plausible. Question is, why and who built it exactly? second hologram from the reactor. Well, there you have it. That's their mechanic. Though, why wouldn't he drop by to resurrect his boss himself? Bushido, regular Ashura are helpless inside the tower. So they sent in the only one nutty enough not to care. Makes sense.
It was hell on earth. It started with an actual burst, then unfolded into an instant world war. An actual burst? Yeah, a gamma ray flash that obliterated most ecosystems and electronics in one go. What caused it? The climbers keep you in a closet or what? I know the theories. I want the truth. Then you better get yourself a time machine and a forensic team. Or I can give you a list of my favorite theories, ranked from a little bit wacky to batshit crazy.
Kira, I'm back. So, how did it go? I noticed some weird spikes in your brain activity. What happened? I think we found our mechanic. Well, what did he say? He introduced himself. Seriously? Yes. Dismantler doesn't seem pleased with our presence. Like he has any reasons to complain. They came to us first. Maybe they didn't expect us to follow. Check out. The 
energy output of the burst was orders of magnitude. What is their purpose? Why do you care? <laughs> this part of history doesn't belong to you. Well, I'm already here. <laughs> Believe it or not, after seeing all of those monsters, I'm actually full of questions. Life is sacred. It is our duty to preserve it. To improve upon it. Sons of men are but a stepping stone. And so are we. What are you trying to do? To bury the old world. To carry the torch. To pave the way for the future. To burn down the shameful past. You want to destroy the tower? No. I want to make use of it. To reforge it. The citizens of the tower and the materials from which it was built. Dharma will become a new home for my scions. It will provide fuel, flesh, and metal. As my children's father, it is my duty to give it to them. From where I stand, you're just a parasite, but that might change soon.
Mars developed a secret super weapon and decided to test it out on us. Mars? It's colonized. It was. Sadly, even if the burst didn't hit them, they couldn't have survived. The colony was entirely dependent on supply runs from Earth. So yeah, this one... survivors. Maybe. Got a couple of conspiracy theories on that as well. Want to hear my favorites? Pass. Moon people. What? Don't look up. to talk to Mitra. Tell me where he is. That I cannot do, Number. Ashura is a blood oath. He will join us if the progenitor so wishes. Who? Or be dismantled otherwise. Your scions. They're not even alive. The age of man is over, but the story of creation goes on.
should do it. While you were busy, I managed to pinpoint the exact location of Mitra's signal. Let's get moving. Why didn't you say anything earlier? Didn't want to spoil the surprise. Just tell me what you see. Wait, I... it's... big. It's moving very fast. I don't... Kira, I need info. Shit! Don't stop!
for a signal. Nearby. Check out the bunker ahead. I'm going in. Oh my. It looks like some kind of... Wait a second. Is that... Jack. Kira? Jack. Kira! Shit. Welcome back, Number. steal from me? I didn't think I stole. What? All the data my client wanted. Satellite codes, black sites, Dharma project, already out there. Why are you telling me this? To piss you off. I know your type. I'm not walking out of here alive. So just do it already. out of here but you have no idea about my type if you think I'd let you off that easily what take him away 
Cell Block Zero, solitary, and get started on tracking down his family. Let's see what he's got to lose. How did you get in here? Avatar, what the hell is happening? What did you do? Nothing, really. Just immobilized you. Scavenged through your memories of it. Found a lot of interesting things. Are you kidding me? Does it look like I am? <clears throat> Listen. How long have I been here? Long enough to not be a threat to anyone. In Cyber Void, time bends to my will. I stumbled upon some files while going through your head. I believe that's what made the loop glitch and allowed you to leave. What files? Files that Architect left behind. I can't open them, as they seem to be somehow encrypted. But since it's your head, you will open them for me. Now why would I do that? Aren't you interested in seeing more? I don't even know what I saw. That means we can both learn. Or, you can always go back to the loop. I'm not going to force you to do anything. The choice is simple, really. Fine, asshole. Always been like that. Sure are ready. Two to three months. Any faster and the bodies will not be stable. We need something sooner. I want him ready to launch by Friday. Well, he's not gonna be ready by Friday. Unless you want me to mince his brain instead of augmenting it. time we don't have time love we have an angry mob eager for our blood and we need a way to control it he's a thief not a policeman he was a thief now he's gonna be whatever I need him to be where's Mitra and Madu am I even still alive what exactly are you doing? First, define alive. Second, they are not here anymore. Third, relax. These are not the questions you should be asking right now. It's 
been... It's been forever. You took everything from me. What else could you want? I want you to repay what you stole from me. No! Today you get your wish granted. Today you're allowed to die. I'll rip your heart out! I'll fucking burn this place to the ground! GR Unit Zero, codename Mitra, is online. Beginning Hansen Hamada Cognitive Motoric Test. You will be answering my questions truthfully and immediately. your actions then you better pray it stays like this the day will come when you won't be there to stop me After, how can I even trust you after all this? You can't. 
But if you don't take your chances, it's over for us anyway. Let me put it like this. I'll take your architect's seat. We'll go back. I'll help you fight them. Then you'll plug me back into the cathedral. Then you leave me be. I won't interfere with reality again. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. How much time has passed? Three weeks. You serious? Couldn't we talk before you mess with time? I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Kevin? Hi there. Let me get that for you, buddy. <laughs> Kira, come in. This feels... strange. What? Having a body again. You're in for a ride, then. Kira, can you hear me? This is... Ghost Runner Jack of the Climbers. Can anyone hear me? I don't think they can. Looks like it's just you and me. That's great. slowed me down, but I'm fine. I'll explain later. Jack! I thought you were at least here alive. Did you get through? Hell yeah! Guys, Jack's alive! I see Kira finally learned to share her gear. Wait, what? He's alive? Yes, he is! Come here! Hi, Jack. Guys, we don't have time for this. Jack, can you hear me? Hi, Zoe. Hi. It's good to hear you, but we don't have much time to talk. Dharma is under attack. You. I'm coming as we speak. I'll be there soon. That's good. Please hurry. Started the main entrance, started chipping away at the gate, took them almost a week. 
What did you do? We tried to prep our defenses. Gather allies. Didn't work out? Not quite. Most gangs were more interested in screwing each other over than in defending the gate. And the church remnants decided it's the real architect coming to let them out of the tower. How did that work out? Well, that's the good news. The church was dissolved. Permanently. Sorry, gotta go.
Chancellor, my maker, who's forsaken me, or my king, who's turned against me. I didn't turn against you, bro. You can still fight. He's the only one who can stop me.
So, when did you join? Well, here I am. And not a moment too soon. We're on our last legs, Jack. One more blow and we're down for good. It's time to strike back. Now or never, but there's really no point in challenging Ashura's army. Gotta cut the last head off. Gotta take down Mitra. It all starts and ends with him. Let me know when you're ready. I'll tell you what we got on him. I'm ready to go after Mitra. Okay, let's see what we've got. One of our scouts mentioned that he's seen Mitra camping in Cloud City. It happened sometime after we overheard him arguing with Dismantler. Supposedly, they split and haven't talked since. Looks like there's been a change of plans. We think he might be going for the reactor. That was to be expected. He wants to detonate it. What's our plan? The elevator is dead, so you're gonna have to take a detour. So is he. That's why there's still a chance for you to get him. After all that time he's been gone, this place must feel like a labyrinth to him. For you, it's just a detour. I'm on it. Please be careful. You're the only hope we have. How are you hanging in there? You've been quite silent this whole time. I didn't want to interrupt your reunion. What do you think about any of this? I'm a little surprised you didn't mention me to anyone. We all need to be focused. Please don't make me regret that. in a while. Not sure if I remember how to... Here, let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. Since you mentioned it. At first, having a body was all I was thinking about. Eventually, I realized that Cyberboy is just better. Physical boundaries don't apply to me. Pain doesn't exist as I want it to. I can mix everything couldn't care less about having a body. Not anymore. I don't enjoy being in yours either. So just please plug me back in. is really going for the reactor. It seems like it. If so, it confirms all our suspicions.
HQ, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's your status, Jack? I'm here. Plenty of scions around. What the hell are they doing up there? They might have followed Mitra. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Either way, I'm pushing through them. Good. Just keep me posted, son.
elevators offline. Told you, this one only leads to the lower floors anyway. There's no way I'm getting past this. There has to be some other way, right? Not this time, no. So now what? I have an idea. But you're gonna have to come back. God damn it. No worries, we just need to power up the elevator. You'll be back in no time. On it. Jeez, what are those? You're not going anywhere while they're in there. What's the plan anyway? I'll go dataless on your ass. What? That one too. Told you. So, we're running out of time. Not yet. I know, it's just... <sighs> Zoe, I will take care of him. I promise. Now, where's the... wing... thing? Kira just finished working on it. Do you need any tips on how to use it? I'll manage. So? This is it? This is not a goodbye, Zoe. I'll be back. Just in case you're not... Thank you. For everything. You're... welcome, Zoe. Try. Just stay away from the sun. <sighs> Holy shit, it works. Are you surprised? Just excited. You think I would give it to you if I didn't expect it to work? I hope not. Have some trust. <laughs> On a serious note, there was around 13% chance you might die. Kira. There are always <laughs> chances.
Did it work? I'm flying. We missed. Good job, Kira. Seriously. <laughs> I knew. started. Was I responsible for... No, you weren't fast enough. Honestly, I find it fascinating that you're the one who outlived everyone else. I didn't. Climber saved me. could use your help. Helping them would mean hunting others. I can't believe that. So what you're saying is, you're just going to exist there. Whatever that means. Yes, I reject any further participation in reality. What if the power goes out?
our chances. For defeating Mitra? Yeah. I'm not sure. If we make it, if we make it before, I'd say our chances are looking optimistic. If we don't, I guess it's not our problem anymore. That's weirdly complicated. like to do. Straight to hell. And I intend to enjoy. 
no. Mitra! Number! Right on time. You're alone! Give up! You still don't get it, do you? There is nothing left to give up. Stop, Stop this madness, Mitra! Rahu? Well, now it got interesting. This is your last chance to give up. And you really think I'm going to take it? The other option is death. Choose carefully. Already did. So be it. Is that all you got? You think you can win? You're ridiculous. Stupid machine. I'll make you all pay. Dodge this, you bastard! Nice moves. Wait you... So it's all about vengeance, huh? To be honest, I didn't expect much from you. Shut up and fight me! This is where it ends, Mitra. I know you didn't choose your fate, but all of this could have been avoided. You're the one who chose this, and it's time to pay the price. Now 
I'm about fucking at it! This isn't too fucking trash! Hi, Zoe. Hi, Jack. You made it back. Told you I would. Yeah. So... What's the status? They're not a threat to us anymore. <sighs> That's a relief. Zoe, I... I'll be leaving Dharma. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's just unexpected. I know. I realized very recently that's what I want to do after this whole mess is over. I understand. Will you manage without me? We will. Don't you worry about that. But we will miss you. I will miss you. I'll miss you too, Zoe. Will you ever come back? Maybe. We'll see. So... I'm not good at goodbyes. Don't know what to say. It's okay. Take care, Zoe. You're a great leader. Don't forget that. You're a great friend, Jack. The best out there. Don't forget that. Hi, Kira. Hi, Jack. Can't believe you actually pulled it off. It's crazy! Can't believe it myself, to be honest. What about you? I'm leaving Dharma. Huh? Is that all right with you? It doesn't matter. Like, of course, I'm gonna miss you. But if that's what you want, you should go for it. And nobody should tell you otherwise. Though, you could totally stop by with some soil samples now and then. No promises, but I'm glad you understand. Of course I do. Take care out there, Jack. It's been a ride. Sure was. You take care too, Kira. Hi, Saul. Hi, Jack. Well done. With everything. Thanks. No, we're the ones who are thankful. Though, at this point, words won't do it justice. Listen, Saul. I'll be leaving Dharma. Not even surprised. Why? I mean, come on. You've been playing a hero ever since you woke up. How soon before it becomes a chore? How many thank yous can you receive before you're sick of them? I believe that you will be happy with that choice. There has to be so much to see out there. I'm almost jealous. I'm glad you understand. Ah, that's the least I can do. But don't worry, everyone will understand. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure's been all mine. Also, glad I had a chance to be on your side. Those poor bastards who weren't. Nah, I'm joking. They all had it coming. Lesson here is... Be nice to people. Otherwise, shit happens. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Saul. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Jack. How are you holding up? You kidding? You tell me. Ashura is no longer a threat to us. You did it, huh? Shit, how did it go? Well, I'm here. Ashura isn't, but 
Scions are still inside the tower. Don't worry. I overheard Kira mentioning something about it. it sounded pretty optimistic. Anyway, how are you? Better. Almost done regrouping, I guess. That's good to hear. Listen, I, uh, I'll be leaving Dharma. What? Yeah. Oh, where do you plan to go? I'm not sure yet, but this is what I want to do. Will you manage? Don't worry, Jack. Dharma is in the right hands. Good. So this is it. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Adrian. Same. Good luck out there. Thanks. Good luck to you, too. Being a ghost runner is a never ending struggle. The lines between right and wrong are blurry. Which voice do you listen to? The man's? Or the machine's? I considered my options. Kevin, I'm swamped right now. You know the drill. <laughs> <laughs> 